we're going to talk about acting. Uh, I'm no expert on that, but I have invited two talented actors to join me today. Um, they have like a very colorful lives, and I think you will like their stories later. So uh, this is also a new episode of um, My Chinese Dream Series. Uh, let's meet our guest today. So first, George, can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, hi, my name is George Christopher. Uh, I'm an American actor. Uh, from Chicago originally and I have been in love with China my whole life so I came here in 2007 uh, but at that time I wasn't an actor uh, and then I kind of discovered my passion for acting went back to the States studied acting and I've been and then I came back and forth for a while and I've been acting full-time in China since 2014 it's kind of a long story but that's the gist of it <laughs> okay welcome George so uh, our next Thank guest you. today here look at this do you, do you think he looks familiar with sunglasses there? Yes, I think he looks like a Kung Fu star, Jackie Chan, right? Hi! Yeah, <laughs> oh. Jackie Chan! No! No, Jackie Chan! <laughs> wow! wow. <laughs> cool! That's cool! Very good! Chan! <laughs> okay! So, welcome! I'm Liu, Jackie Liu. I'm a Chinese. Happy to be here. I love a Jackie Chan movie. I love a Jackie Chan. Yes. Yeah, welcome, Jackie. So Jackie got his English name uh, because he is a Jackie Chan fan since he was a child, and then uh, he also worked as a stand-in for uh, Jackie Chan in some movies. Uh, he didn't study uh, in a, you know systematically study in acting. Uh, neither did uh, uh, George went to a university. But they kind of find their way uh, in the show business on their own. But I think George went to training. Oh yeah, I've studied my ass yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, welcome. So uh, look at our clothes. We're actually from the same period, I think. Um, me, a female student in the 1930s. Okay. And how about your costume, George? Uh, well, this is a uh, costume actually for a TV show that I did uh, in China uh, called Red Star Over China. I played a journalist named Edgar Snow, an American journalist. We actually shot on the street right here where we're uh, standing. And uh, this is just a vest and uh, shirt that I wore. It's still dirty. I, ha you know, I haven't put it on in about a year. They haven't washed it. But this is what I wore, uh, one of my mini suits in that show. Yeah. That's wonderful. And look at Jackie's costume. This is actually men's robe in, from the Qing Dynasty. And Qing Dynasty is like the last dynasty of China. But after several years, we still people still wear it. It's kind of like a traditional, old tradition. So people in the 1930s also wear that. So we're from the same period. Okay, so today we're going to have a little tour of this film lot and we will share their really uh, fascinating stories. And uh, you will understand the profession of actor a little bit better after this. So let's go. So look at this place. Um, I think it's kind of worn down, right? <laughs> Kind of an old feeling of it. Yeah. Oh, so old said, China. Yeah, old China. So you said you, you did a show here. Uh, you, you, you shoot here, right? Yes. So right here on this road. Right, right where this gate is. I was in a car driving this way as the Japanese were on a horse. Well, the Japanese commander was on a horse coming in. It's an event. Uh, actually, previously they said that was the beginning of uh, World War II. The, the conflict between the Japanese and the Chinese, but recently they actually, uh, the official stance is now that the beginning of World War II with the Japanese and the Chinese was in 1932 when the Japanese invaded Manchuria, which is actually pretty accurate because they invaded Manchuria in 1932. We don't actually realize this. The Chinese were at war with the Japanese for 14 years, okay. whereas, you know, in Europe it was only like six years. So can you talk a little about your experience playing Edgar Snow, uh, is it difficult? Is it challenging? Yeah, so I played uh, Edgar Snow in a, a <laughs> biopic about Edgar Snow, and um, everything cool there? You all good? <laughs> all right. Yeah. So it was. It's actually. It was actually the biggest role ever for a, a white person in a Chinese TV show. Uh, so because it was just about this American journalist who was in China for 13 years. And so, yeah, 34 episode about his entire life in China. He first came to China in 1928, 
and he left China in 1941. He actually got kicked out of China because he was, um, well, he was a little bit, he wasn't uh, reporting exactly what the nationalist government wanted him to report at that time because he, he's most famous for being the first journalist to interview Mao Zedong and the Communist Party after the Long March, right? And so, yeah, but he reported everything that happened in China from 1928 to 1941. So, so you did it in Chinese, the movie? Yes, the almost about 95% of the lines were in Chinese, and so I speak Chinese, and um, cool. I wasn't dubbed, and it was extremely challenging, yeah, but it was an amazing experience, because this is uh, probably one of the most famous foreigners in Chinese history, and um, Nixon gets credit for establishing diplomatic ties between America and China, but really it was Edgar Snow who really created cool. that friendship between America and China. And actually before Nixon came over in 1972 or whatever, uh, Edgar Snow actually was the first one to come over uh, in, uh, during the Cultural Revolution. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, Jackie played a uh, stand-in for Jackie Chan. I think you guys must be curious about this. Let's ask Jackie about his experience. So Jackie, what's your Direction of Jackie served in the army and then he became a campus security guard for several years and then he had this dream for becoming an actor so he quit his job quit his and became an actor. So it's a long story. So uh, what's the first time that you saw him? Well, it's very interesting because I was just in the Chinese 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 Deep Trace. That's the first time he has been standing in for Jackie Chan. And later on, he has been uh, uh, standing in for Jackie Chan in some other movies, for example, Kung Fu Yoga and Railroad Tigers, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, let's move on and uh, check out this place a little bit more. Um, for those who just joined in, this is a live report from China's Tsinghua News Agency. And we're at a film lot here uh, in Beijing. George and this So um, I think you guys are familiar with this place and a little bit more about this place. This place is actually, uh, the name of it is Ba Yi Film Lot. Ba Yi means August 1st. So that's like the, that, that's like the founding date of, or it can a day to mark the foundation of the army. So it has a military thing. So that's why uh, we have this place uh, a lot of war movies are shot here, um, so I, I was just wondering, um, have you guys ever been in war movies? Uh, 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 so Jackie played Captain Liu of the 8th Route Army in one of the movies, and I think George also played in like war movies, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, mostly TV shows. So, what kind of roles did you play? Uh, we usually play an American soldier, but I 
Actually, I shot, see, here, I shot here, I shot Shuai, uh, which, which was uh, called, called the Young Marshall show, show with uh, Wen Zhang, very famous actor in China. Actor in China. The director's name is Zhang Li. Name is Zhang Very good TV show. Very good TV show. Came out last year. Came out last year. And, uh, I, and played uh, I played Shao Shuai's pilot. And we shot. And we shot one scene. One scene here. here. Okay. And, so, so and but yeah. no, I didn't really. That wasn't I really. Didn't really uh, that wasn't really. Uh, I mean, in terms of like. I mean, in terms of like war scenes. Yeah. I mean, I was in. I've been in several. As an American actor in China, a lot of the roles are uh, usually for period pieces, and um, obviously periods where we had a lot of foreigners in China, which is mostly the nationalist period and uh, World War II, so basically the 1920s till the 1940s. And uh, a lot of people don't even really know this, but America was an important ally of China um, during World War II, and so there were a lot of American soldiers here, and so anytime they shoot a World War II, TV show or film, I might be considered for a role as a soldier. Okay. Yeah. So for all the roles that you have played, which one do you like best in the life? Oh, I mean, definitely Edgar Snow. Because, I mean, when you're playing the lead of a TV show or a film, you are responsible for carrying the entire story and, and communicating that to the audience. Because the most valuable thing as an actor is to be able to communicate something that is of value uh, to the audience. And as a supporting character, usually you're supporting the leading actors who are more responsible for doing that. Um, but obviously as a lead, that's your responsibility. So Edgar Snow was, you know, was a lead, was a lead character. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it was a very, it was a very meaningful show because it was very true to history. And my goal in shooting that show was that young people uh, who usually don't know that much about this history in China, young people would appreciate it and enjoy it and would learn about uh, a part of Chinese history that they previously didn't know about mm -hmm. and okay. the yeah. show was on Hunan TV which is usually mm -hmm. watched you know which is um, most the of their fans <laughs> yeah, most of their fans are very young right so yes. um, you know I met that goal and that was that was by far the most fulfilling thing that I've done in China thanks so uh, I think Jackie you told me that both of the role I think is soldier right Uh, so uh, Jackie's favorite roles are policemen and like soldiers. So uh, why is that? Uh, why not? Uh, because before I was a soldier. I understand. So, uh, I saw a lot of police work, police work, especially Jackie Chan, who is a police officer. So, I think police work is a sense of responsibility. So Jack used to be a military in the military, and so he has this a very strong feeling. And also, he watched uh, many Jackie Chan's movies. So uh, a lot of the characters are actually policemen. Uh, so that's why he's very into policemen and uh, soldiers. Uh, and uh, I knew that Jackie actually watched one of Jackie Chan's movie, Rush Hour, for like uh, 100 times, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so for some viewers, they might think that acting is a glorious profession. Uh, George, what do you think of this? Do you think... What's glorious? What do you mean? What do you mean glorious? Do you think that we got all these flashlights and, you know... Flashlights. Got, got kind of Searching in the dark. So can you explain to them your understanding of being an actor? It's just a job. Acting's a job just like any other job. So no, acting's not glorious. That's all a bunch of shit, you know... <laughs> Started. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Shapaz? Bajaz? That's all just a bunch of um, uh, stuff that's generated by the industry yeah. to make people kind of idolize actors so that they watch movies. I mean, it's just a commercial technique. So the idea that, like, whoa, celebrities! Oh my god, he's an actor! It's so glorious! No, it's actually such a job. Yeah. And so. It's interesting too because most people they think they know so much about acting and actors because they watch TV shows and films all the time. You watch TV shows and films all the time, yes. right? But have you ever been to a set? Exactly. Most people haven't, right? They haven't actually been there and seen 
it's the job. And actually, when you're on set, especially if you're not an actor, it's pretty boring. You know what acting is? 90% 90, 90 of acting, you know, or being an actor, you know what 90% of it is? Yes. Waiting? Yes! Oh. You waiting. are right. Waiting. waiting. Waiting is 90% of the job of an actor. Oh. Yeah. But of course, the key thing is what are you doing while you're waiting? Yeah. Are you reading your script? Are you preparing? Are you, are you, you know, figuring out exactly what you need to do to deliver what you need to deliver when the time comes? Because that's the other thing is you're waiting, but then when they say, okay, lie. Okay, come on, let's go. We're shooting your scene now. You have that one one moment, only that one day to yeah. deliver. You know, yeah. so you wait, and then when it's time to go, you have to go. So no, it's it's not a glorious job. It's a job. Uh, I think the real glory is in what I said before: is if you're actually playing a good character, a good script, where you're giving something value to the audience, and the audience is like, oh wow, I learned something, or oh wow, this actor's performance just touched my heart. That's what's glorious about it. So. Yeah, but the truth is, usually, you don't get that opportunity. And most actors, they wait their whole life for maybe one great role or a couple of great roles where they can really sink their teeth into it and have an impact on the people who watch it. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so cool about being a foreigner in China. is like, okay, I'm a Lao Wai, I'm a foreigner in China, but I had this opportunity to play this big role that really was meaningful to me as an actor. And I'm very grateful, very grateful for that because some actors, they might work for 20 years and they might be way better actors than myself and never have that opportunity because it's hard. Yeah. And the truth is, most shows, most TV shows, most films, we all know, they're not that good. <laughs> okay, I think it's a very good point that uh, actors actually spend a lot of time waiting and looking for jobs. Uh, I think Jackie has some experience uh, when he first started. So uh, Jackie can tell us when you first came to buy EPM Watch, you may tell me that you first came to buy the first time you 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 哎，我在想，八一是中国军人的标志，所以我就决定了来八一。哦、oh, ，So at the beginning he heard that there is opportunity to come to this film lot, ah,、uh, because this is like ah、uh, related to like August first. It's like the signal of the Chinese army. So he immediately came here with his background. He says so he was a soldier himself. He he served in the army himself. 啊、uh, ，那您在这是是不是？也等，就就待了很长时间，然后一直在寻找机会，呃、对吧？对，我知道我是呃半路出家，所以我打、呃、我想的是从呃从重新开始，所以跑龙套啊、呃，当死尸呃当商人，当呃当 teacher， 还有当军人、oh. 当八路军。So at the beginning he came here, ah、uh, he knew that he didn't you know graduate from professional school, so he、uh, do whatever he could. He tried to play those、uh, run to different crews and you know play small roles,、uh, like a businessman, teachers,、uh, you know soldiers, and even corpse. So a lot of different、uh, roles that he had played at the beginning, and a lot of time also include waiting. Ah,、uh, 很难忘的经历吧。啊，是的，非常难忘。所以这是我呃演员 actor 梦想突然开始的地方。So this is actually where his dream as actor started. So fascinating, right? <laughs> okay. Hold on. There's one thing though. When I when I said waiting, of、okay. course, as you're waiting for a job,、mm -hmm. that's one part of waiting.、Mm -hmm. But what I actually meant was when you're on set,、oh. even after you get the job,、okay. you spend a lot of time just waiting around because it takes a long time. Like the scene we set up here. You know, they have to set up the lights. They have to get the horses. They have to get the car. They have to get the driver. And every, and then you know that one little scene where there's a car driving this way and there's a horse coming this way. You know, we have to shoot five, six different shots. And every time we shoot from a different angle or with a different lens, it's a wide shot and a medium shot, a close up of him, a close up of me. Get, bring, bring the camera in the car and shoot. There's one where the camera's in the car, the camera's back here, and I turn around, and look out the window. As the horse passes by, so every time you know we have a new shot, of course you have to set up the lights, you have to set up the the props, you have to set up everything, and and it takes you know sometimes thirty minutes to an hour to set up each shot,、yeah. and then when you go on set and you shoot, it's like ten seconds. Wow. So you might watch this lab, especially especially in action sequences. 动作动作戏更是这样子嘛，因为他们要设计的非常非常细腻 ，right? So uh, 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 action sequences where they're fighting and stuff. 
every you, you see this amazing fight sequence like wah, 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 what a, uh, watch him he can actually do it right but sometimes when you're shooting it's just like okay ready action boom cut Aww. a fraction of a second so every single every single shot is meticulously orchestrated uh and and that's and, and so when you actually shoot and say action you know it's only like you know one second to, if it's a long dialogue scene it might be two minutes or something like that but typically it takes like an hour or half an hour to set up each shot so the waiting yeah, you have to wait to try to get a job, but that's just a part of the job. And that's why it's not glorious. Because you're just sitting around waiting. Okay. It's a part so, of the job. Yeah, so waiting on set. I think uh, for Jackie, he uh, played stand in for Jackie Chan. I imagine that probably also a long time of waiting to uh, get his part shot. Yeah, so sometimes you wait for 12 hours the whole day for just one minute of shooting. 呃，你也知道，这个片的电影是大电影，所以它呃一个动作一个动作一场戏，它要拍很久很久。对，所以我们是必须的。对，是电影。So they had to wait for a long time. Right. And this is the difference between this is the difference between, of course, movies and TV shows, especially in China, because in China, uh, in the States, it's the same way too. The the pacing of shooting a TV show is different than the pacing of shooting a film. In a, a film, they might only shoot one or two scenes in a day, whereas it, Whereas in, in China, um, when we shoot a TV show, we could shoot up to, you know, typically six to ten pages, which is typically like five, it could be five to fifteen scenes in, in one day. Uh, and of course it all depends on, on the location. TV are shot much quicker, but in film, Is, is, is on what the lighting is and the blocking and everything is much more meticulous mm -hmm. and so it's a much slower process because the standard is much higher for a TV show you have 34 hour long episodes right so it doesn't have to be 100% perfect but for a film you only have that one and a half or two hours and every shot needs to be perfect yeah okay. so very different pacing for shooting a movie versus shooting a TV show that makes sense. I think I learned so much about acting. <laughs> so uh, I think we we can walk a little bit uh, up there. I think there are some other things that we might uh, want to check out here. You see, there is like this ancient uh, tower. Why do I see? Yeah, a tower on a wall. A gate, actually. It's a gate. A gate That's what yeah. it is. It's a gate, like a uh, like a Tianmen or something. Like that. Okay. Qingping. <laughs> So as you guys can see, George just couldn't stop bursting out Chinese. <laughs> he is really good at Chinese. He has been. And I'm not showing off. Of course, it's when, it's when an instinct. When you when you live in China for so long and you're surrounded by Chinese people and like. Wow, we should check out there. there just used some to speaking Chinese. Wonderful things that look wow. out. Look at that. Those are like burnt wood, I think. So this is probably from explosion scene or like fire scene. I think George has a lot to say about that. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've <laughs> it's another cool thing about working in China um, in war movies. You see a lot of explosions. Shoots of very dangerous. Accidents do happen, but thankfully I've never had an accident. All the sets that I've been on, there have never been any which is great. you tell us <laughs> how do they shoot this is the person really that close to the <laughs> explosion when it happens honestly sometimes uh, okay different productions have different standards right and generally uh, generally speaking China is much more dangerous than than Hollywood there's not as many protections there's not as many there's not unions I mean in, in the states if if you do an explosion if you get caught set on fire you get paid like what like eight hundred dollars just to do that one stunt uh, so there's a lot of union protections in China. There aren't, and so it can be much more dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, the industry deal is very mature. To it's very much it's occurring, developing, but it's yeah. but really still, yeah. especially safety is, is an issue. But you know what? Pe people get hurt in stunts in the states as well, or anywhere in the world. It's just a part of the job. Uh, but yeah, I mean, sometimes every time that I've been on set, though, the people have been very safe with me and. Um, 
usually, okay, like, like, for instance, let's say, um, okay, like I had this scene in Red Star China where I'm on this dock and all of a sudden the planes are coming and they're bombing the, 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 the it's a motto. See that? I don't even know how to say that in English. Not a dock, a port. Port. Thank you. You see, look, your English is better than mine. You spend a lot of time in China, your English starts to tweibu or digress or okay. evolve. Well, look, at this. look at this. I can't even speak English anymore. This is what happens. No, I'm, I, I am. So anyway, uh, so I'm on this port and bombs are falling and I, I drop my suitcase and the character has to run back and grab the suitcase uh, and, and, and pull it back. And they put an explosion, basically a, a pouch of, of gunpowder, like this, like a bomb, right by my bag, right? Wow. And so we had to time it perfectly so that I, I obviously they're not going to blow it up when I grab my bag, but very quickly after. So I run down, I grab my bag, I take one, two, three steps up the port, and then all of a sudden, boom! So it was really close. I mean, you can feel the heat of it. So, but everything, you know, like, like we take the time to orchestrate it uh, and to block it so that it's safe. Um, but yeah, I mean, those explosions are real and. Sometimes they're not as close as they appear because that's one of the secrets of cinematography where it looks closer than it actually is. Um, so that's a dangerous job. <laughs> it, well, it, it can be. If, if people aren't paying attention to safety, if they're not doing their job well, then it can be. Like I said, though, I've been around a lot of explosions and shot a lot of guns, real guns, on set, and I've never been hurt. Um, not, yeah. not significantly. Just little, little scratches. Minor. Okay. Yeah. So Jackie, uh, your job. Uh, do you feel love being an actor? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so yes. Of course. Why? 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 第二个梦想是看，是是是呃，演员，因为小时候看到杰克逊的《Moonlight》，所以我说啊，我可以当演员。所以，所以我今天我在这里。啊，happy to be here. So Jackie loves being actor because of the movies of Jackie Chan. He watched a lot when he was a kid, and then he he still loves it, even though it's a dangerous job. And sometimes it could be dangerous, like George said. It's just you know, mm, might be some kind of risk, but I think uh, as the industry improves and everything will be better, uh, I think it's going to be much more safer, right? Uh, gradually, like everything yeah. is going to be. Definitely, I mean, we can't have people dying on set, right? <laughs> His job is actually much more dangerous than mine, though, because he, he does action films, you know, and you mm -hmm. uh, see that first. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, because actually Jackie Chan, I asked him if he's uh, if he's a stunt double. He's a but actually Jackie Chan does a lot of his a lot of uh, his own stunts. That's right. But Jackie Chan films are obviously much more dangerous, but they're also very professional, right? This Chen Long, his that the set, his team is very 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 professional, right? Yes. We actually, we haven't I haven't I haven't worked with uh, Jackie Chan before because I'm not an action actor, but I have a lot of friends mm -hmm. who are action actors who you probably have seen him on set. You know, many foreigners, yeah. Yes, <laughs> those are my friends. You should have seen them. Yes, yes. yes. Kalak, 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 Kalak is my friend. There's a lot of guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think we can walk uh, towards this way, and maybe we can find a way to go up. Is that allowed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here's a staircase. Okay. It might be dangerous. But see, this is where things can be dangerous. Wow! Look at this. These are also yeah. like the explosion things, right? Um, I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, you just gotta watch out. I mean, maybe we can go up. Yeah, yeah. If, if they if they allow us. Yes, they? sure. Okay. They allow us to go up. Just be careful. Yes. Okay. Oh, careful. Careful. Okay. Careful. Okay. Wow. Climbing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so when we go up, we could have a full view of this place. It's actually not big, it's a small place, um, but a lot of war movies are shot here. So uh, just imagine what they've done here. A lot of people came and they, they went. I think a lot of people tried to realize their dreams here. Wow, look, this is a very nice view. This is a little bit like Great Wall. <laughs> yeah. Right? They 
probably used they probably used this as the Great Wall. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> right. So uh, a, a little more few stairs right here. Chang Chong should we use our pie though? The Great Wall should here? I don't know. <laughs> I think they shot mostly in Huairo, another part of Beijing. There's this is just one place, right? I mean, this is just one kind of studio or whatever. Um, one set, big set in, in, in China, but there's there's a city called Hongdian, right? And Hongdian is the biggest uh, film studio set of sets in the whole world of Asia. It's hum humongous. There's, you know, about China, right? There's so much development going on in Plans. What's your next goal, George, as an actor? Uh, well, I've been really fortunate. There's so much stuff going on in China, and um, I was I've only, I was I've only been working here for three years, and there's more and more projects and better and better roles, and it's great. And so I would like to move back to the states because I'm the kind of person who doesn't want to just live in one place. I don't want to just live in America, and I don't want to just live in China. I want to try to. I've been trying for ten years to live in both countries. Um, so I haven't, I, and I've been doing that. I haven't lived in China full time. So my plan is to move back to the States, but to still try to be able to work in both countries, which is very difficult to do because it's like living in two different planets. It's like trying to live on Mars and Venus at the same time. I think we have a movie that's shot here. It's going to be published. Is, it, is there any kind of plan? Uh, well, the... No, this is Ba Yi Chang, right? And they're oh. they're a production company. Oh, yeah. They're a production company affiliated with the Chinese military. Oh. And I've actually done a film with them before. Mm -hmm. It was actually my first film in China. It was with Ba Yi Chang. Uh, it was a TV movie on uh, CCTV Six. Mm -hmm. And right now I am in discussions with Ba Yi Chang for another film. They're doing a feature film. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't want to talk too much about it because. Okay, just the feature. Film. Well, it's 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 not. <laughs> It's not final yet, right? Okay, okay. So okay. it's. Understand but I can say. A lot of secrets it's, for actors. It's not a secret. <laughs> it's just. I don't want to jinx okay, it. Okay, that's you know? all right. I don't want to jinx so, it. So uh, let me ask Jackie. Uh, Jackie, yeah. what's your next goal as an actor? Your next goal is to find a job. Uh, next goal is to find a job that suits himself. Uh, so to find a job that suits himself, uh, a proper job, a uh, proper character. character. Yeah. So um, more specifically, you have any ideas? 呃，找一个适合自己的角色，适合角色的，适合电影的，都是双方互惠。嗯，呃，当然我最想演的是Jackie uh, uh, Chan. <laughs> so uh, his ultimate uh, goal uh, is to play Jackie Chan in the movie. Okay. 呃，那那你有没有一个长远一点的，就是打算你最终在演员这个行业想要达到什么样的？呃，我的梦想是做一名中国双语。Jackie's dream is to become a bilingual actor, movie actor. Uh, so he's learning English and improving. Uh, so he wants to be able to play a movie in English sometime, right? Yeah. Good. Uh, so full of dreams. <laughs> so feel very good. I think um, it's a very nice chatting with you guys, and I understand so much more about the profession of acting. Uh, it's just great to talk about. It's a very short tour, but I think you guys understand this film a lot, and also a lot of the details in shooting film and TV series. Um, all right, I will go have to say goodbye for our audience. If you don't. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much, you much for watching. Hi, we're still here.